Hello, and welcome to day eight of the Strangest Secret 30-Day Challenge. I'm your host, Chuck Marty. Today, we're going to confront a common obstacle on our journey to success, and that's negative thoughts. We're going to explore some practical strategies to eliminate them and make room for positivity and growth. So negative thoughts can be like weeds in the garden of our mind. They creep in, they take root, And if left unattended, they can choke the positivity that should flourish within each of us. But here's the good news. You have the power to uproot those negative thoughts and replace them with positivity. Now, it's a skill that takes practice, but today we're going to dive into how you can do just that. So the first step is awareness. You have to pay attention to the negative thoughts that arise throughout your day. You have to notice the moments when self-doubt, fear, or even criticism sneak into your mind. Now, let's draw some inspiration from some renowned leaders who have mastered the art of replacing negative thoughts. So take, for example, Steve Chandler. Steve, he's a best-selling author known for his work on personal development. He emphasizes that you have the power to change your thoughts and thus change your life. His journey from self-doubt to success is a testament to this. How about Jack Canfield? Jack Canfield is the co-author of Chicken Soup for the Soul series, and he believes in the power of affirmations to transform negativity and negative thinking. Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor is a very well-respected figure in the field of personal development, and he emphasizes the importance of self-awareness. He encourages us to confront negative thoughts head-on and rewire our mindset for success. And of course, we can't forget Earl Nightingale. He once said, we become what we think about. This statement underscores the profound influence our thoughts have on our reality. Now, let's talk about the second step, consciously replacing negative thoughts. Whenever you catch yourself thinking negatively, make a conscious effort to replace those thoughts with positive ones. For example, if a negative thought tells you that you're not capable of a task, counter it with a positive thought. I am capable and I can learn and improve. This practice may feel challenging at first, but with time and persistence, it becomes a habit. By actively replacing negative thoughts with positive ones, you're reshaping your mindset. You're creating a mental environment that nurtures growth, confidence, and resilience. So as we wrap up this episode, remember that eliminating negative thoughts is a skill that strengthens with practice. So tomorrow... We're going to explore how to feed your mind, and this is a crucial element on your leadership journey. So until then, be vigilant about your thoughts and let the wisdom of Steve Chandler, Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, and Earl Nightingale guide you toward a more positive and empowered mindset. Until tomorrow, take care. 